we present a physically based fluid solver on the surface of a sphere that uses a staggered spherical grid discretization. Our method includes novel treatments of polar singularities, as well as a GPU-based framework that achieves real-time speeds for various practical scenarios. Our contributions include the following. We define a staggered grid discretization on the surface of a sphere, enabling the calculation of derivatives using a second order accurate central difference method while avoiding the infamous checkerboard null modes. We additionally introduce new, straightforward polar singularity treatments that avoid the previous need for any spectral filtering of high frequency noise at the poles. Our solver can also be parallelized with a GPU implementation. With CUDA's fast Fourier transform and cyclic reduced kernels boosting the performance, our solver reaches real-time performance at movie-grade grid resolutions on modern GPUs. Finally, we present an easy-to-implement, art-directable framework for generating realistic fluid renders on the surface of a sphere. We approach solving the Navier-Stokes equations using the same splitwise integration scheme outlined in previous works. We first employ a semi-Lagrangian advection scheme, and then follow with a step integrating geometric terms that appear in the spherical coordinate formulation of the Navier-Stokes equations. Lastly, we enforce incompressibility with a fast Fourier solution to Poisson's equation for pressure in spherical coordinates. The staggered spherical grid is defined by a non-co-located, equally spaced grid in spherical polar coordinate space. The grid is positioned such that cell centers are positioned about but not on the poles. Pressure values are stored at cell centers, and both longitudinal and latitudinal velocities are stored on cell edges. The east and west edges of the grid are cylindrically mapped, and the north and south edges collapse to the north and south poles in R3. Velocity values at the poles are not well defined in spherical polar coordinate space. This poses a problem when advecting fluid velocities in the vicinity of the poles. Our method treats polar singularities by assigning flux-conserving longitudinal velocities to grid locations along the north and south polar boundaries. We average the surrounding latitudinal velocity vectors expressed in R3 to calculate the orthogonal longitudinal speed, then project this vector along the directions where longitudinal speeds are stored in spherical polar coordinate space. Fluid flows over the poles uninterrupted. Here we show that our method produces highly similar results under rotations of the polar points. On the right, the polar axis has been rotated 30 degrees counterclockwise, but the density and velocity field initializations are identical. We enforce incompressibility with a fast Fourier solution to Poisson's equation for pressure in spherical coordinates. Because our staggered grid definition shifts cell centers off the poles, we don't need to worry about polar singularities during pressure projection. Reaching a speed of 222.9 steps per second on a 512 by 1024 grid resolution, our GPU implementation achieves real-time speeds on movie-grade resolution grids. Here we've used our art-directable framework to design multiple renders for your viewing pleasure.